Hello, my name's Eric, a member of the support team here at Prototech. In this video, we're going to take a look at building a tool in Mastercam 2026. I'm going to enter my tool manager, right click and create a tool. Notice there's a new interface from previous versions. I can enter the name of the tool, select the type of tool, all the same wording and types exist as before. Set some of my tool offsets. The hidden menu here contains the required pilot diameter for reams and taps. That was a collapse menu in the previous interface. And then I work my way down the list of topics to continue building. Here I can choose a source level or import from a model. I have some dimensions of my tool. When I click on the cutting diameter, I get a dimension over here on the tool. I can set corner treatments, my shoulder length diameter, shank diameter, I can do a reduce shank. Here we had this function before, but they rewarded it a little bit. If I'm drawing a tool from a level or a model, I have my parametric model, which is how the tool is coded. And I have my collision model, which is the drawing from the level or the file. And that is how the tool will backplot, verify and simulate. We had this in Mastercam 2025, but it was worded a bit different. Here in Mastercam 2025, that was render the Mastercam tool, that's now called the parametric tool, and render the imported tool. That in this interface is called the anti-collision model. On the next page, I can set my cut conditions. Lastly, I can set my coolant. The roughing and finishing and coolant conditions are only used if in my job setup I have turned on use tool step pack and coolant. That completes the process of creating a tool in Mastercam 2026. We hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to catch the videos as soon as they're released, make sure to subscribe. Thanks for watching.